Hello and welcome back to Grant Me. My name is Wesley and today we're going to be talking about how to get into Toronto Metropolitan University. This is video number one of a far part series and this is all together a part of our ultimate university guide series where we analyze Canada's top 20 universities and tell you some tips and tricks to get in as well as some other important information about these schools. And I'm just gonna start by telling you a little bit of information on Toronto Metropolitan University, giving you a little a bit of an overview right before you consider applying. Toronto Metropolitan is the most applied to university in Ontario relative to the space that is available. It has over 45,000 students with 100 different graduate and undergraduate programs and it has over 133 partner countries, 37 different countries. Over at Toronto Metropolitan, they are dedicated to creating a culture of action. They believe that education and experience go hand in hand together. What their students learn in the classroom is enhanced by a real-world knowledge through internships and co-ops or is amplified through zone learning, specialized minors, and different graduate programs. In terms of the rankings, we're just going to go over that real quick. So Toronto Metropolitan's Master of Business Administration has ranked among the top business programs in Canada based on value for money, and this is by Canadian Business 2016. It is also ranked second on the National Reputation Ranking by McLean's Magazine in 2015, and DMZ at Ryerson was ranked as one of the top university incubators in North America during 2015. In terms of standout programs, Toronto Metropolitan has 125 plus different research institutes and labs, and they are also known for their media production program other more popular programs that they're also well known for include creative engineering, business, and nursing programs. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get into this prestigious university. And so if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. That way you can keep up to date with all of our latest content. Now, we are going to begin by talking about your general admission requirements. So regardless of what faculty you're applying to, you will need to meet these requirements and complete the following steps. The complete academic record of all secondary and post-secondary studies, whether that be college or university, are considered as a part of their competitive selection process, unless otherwise noted. And so admission is going to be based on competitive grades in program-specific requirements and your competitive overall admission averages. Grade 11 results may be used within the early admissions offer processes, while some programs such as Grade Plus also specify non-academic requirements for admission. And this can include a portfolio, an essay, an interview, or an audition, for example. And so the number of application Ryerson receives greatly exceeds the number of spaces that are available in each program. And so even though you may meet the minimum requirements, that does not in any way guarantee that you're going to be accepted. And due to the competition that happens every year, candidates may be required to present their averages or have grades that are above the minimum requirements. And you also have to keep in mind that admission consideration is based on information at the time of your application. So Ryerson does not issue alternate offers of admission. Let's cover the general admission requirements now more in depth for Canadian post-secondary students. So if you have been educated in a Canadian province or a territory outside of Ontario, you must submit evidence of education equivalent to the Ontario Secondary School Diploma with six grade 12 U or M courses. Now, please note, okay, that Toronto Metropolitan University does reserve the right to be the final arbiter of what will be accepted on an equivalency basis. And so, although the minimum academic requirements apply to every program, you are also encouraged to achieve as much breadth and as much depth as possible within your academic preparation leading up to your graduation from secondary school. And you also must ensure that you meet the subject prerequisite requirements of your programs of choice. It is essential that for your subject prerequisites and grades for specific programs form a part of your academic program especially within the last two years of your high school studies. So make sure you are picking relevant courses to your field of study. And unless noted otherwise, your subject prerequisite grades required for admission, which are normally uh, in the 65 to 75% range, 
uh, are determined on the base of competition. Calculus is required for all engineering programs, the accounting and finance program, and select programs within the Faculty of Science. Now, if you are confused about any of this, I would highly, highly recommend that you go onto Ryerson's website and do a little bit more in depth on the requirements for each program, because right now we are covering kind of very general ones to even get into there in the first place. But keep in mind that every faculty and every program has specific oddities in terms of what you need to get in. In terms of which grades they consider, Toronto Metropolitan considers all grade 11 final marks and grade 12 interim or final marks in their assessment wherever applicable. And so conditional offers of admission may also be granted, but this is based on competitive results in grade 11 as well as your enrollment in required grade 12 courses. In determining your admissibility, Toronto Metropolitan reserves the right to take into account all aspects of your academic record. And so this means secondary school as well as post-secondary studies are counted. And so post-secondary studies can refer to either a college, university, or studying at another accredited post-secondary institution. And so you have to make sure that all post-secondary studies and secondary school studies are declared on your application and the relevant transcripts must be submitted to Toronto Metropolitan. And so what this means is that your overall academic performance will be reviewed and is considered as a part of the competitive selection process. Applicants from a country where English is not the first language or where English is an official language but it isn't considered the first language are required to present a proof of English language proficiency at a satisfactory level. And I have gone more in depth about this talking about the various tests and test scores required if you have done them and this is covered within other videos regarding Ontario universities. So make sure you go and check out the other videos regarding universities in Ontario and you're going to find something that provides you with more information on this because unfortunately we are a little bit short on time right now. I have mentioned this earlier but each program maintains specific requirements for you to get in and so please 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 refer to your program of choice on their website to see the requirements but I'm going to provide you with two different examples just so you're kind of aware of how these requirements for each specific program work. And so for example, if you are considering on doing the English Bachelor Honors Program, typically a minimum overall average of 70% is what establishes your eligibility for admission. But this is obviously subject to competition and individual programs may require higher prerequisite grades or higher overall averages. And a minimum of 70% or higher is required for grade 12 English. All right, so that's the English Bachelor Honors Program. Now let's move on to the Biology Bachelor of Science Honor Program. And so typically a minimum overall average of 70% is what establishes your eligibility for admission consideration. But as with the previous one, uh, this is uh, subject to competition as individual programs may require higher prerequisite grades or higher overall averages. English uh, courses are required. You must have done advanced functions. You must have two physics, chemistry, or biology courses. Uh, in terms of this, the minimum grades required are typically within the 65 to 70 percent range. Uh, but keep in mind, these are a baseline minimum. And as always, it is subject to competition. Now, also, programs may specify uh, non-academic requirements for admissions and as I said earlier this can either be a portfolio an admissions essay an interview or an audition and this is what Toronto Metropolitan refers to as a grades plus program and so the specific non-academic requirements for individual grade plus programs including specific submission dates and procedures are available by visiting each program page so remember to do that if you are applying for a program that is considered by Toronto Metropolitan to be Grades Plus. And so keep in mind for those uh, who are considering applying to Grades Plus program, it is academic and non-academic criteria that will be used in the admission selection process. All right, so that's everything that I need to cover in today's video. If you have any questions, please consider leaving a comment. We'll try to get back to you maybe. 
we'll see. Uh, but also, do keep in mind that Grammy can help you with the application process. And so we have an amazing team of essay editors that can help you uh, in terms of your portfolio if you're applying for Grades Plus programs. We also have scholarship matching. And also, down in the description is an eligibility quiz, and you can fill that out, see if you're eligible for some of Canada's top schools. So make sure you do that if you are kind of unsure about whether or not you qualify for some programs in Canada. But that's all I have to cover for today, so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.